I think the billing says almost all of it, Alan, doesn't it? The Emirates FA Cup. It's brilliant to be here. It certainly is. Still got a magic attached to it, this competition. And uh, I've got a feeling we're going to get a good game. Well, Arsenal taking on Liverpool, and whenever these teams meet, obviously your mind turns to the game at Anfield in 1989. Yeah, I mean, one of the most famous games in, in Football League history, wasn't it? I hope we'll get just a, a fraction of the drama here today. If we do, we're in for a treat. James Milner, number 23. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. It's the way he combines with teammates, Martin, that I love so much. Such an unselfish player. Number 21, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Number 9, Roberto Firmino. This is the Liverpool side. Simon Mignolet starts in goal. James Milner starts with Nathaniel Klein as the wide defenders. Sadio Mane starts with Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain looking to provide width. And they'll play with a sole striker. at the lineup he's got all the components in place hasn't he the manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team yep and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with if your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down you're going to lose it in dangerous areas Arsenal they're playing well at the moment they certainly played well last time out in their home victory against Chelsea and he finished 4-2 and uh, good work all around. I think they'd settle for a draw here, actually. Ross Joyce is the referee for this one. <laughs> Ball on the centre spot. And that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special, and every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. He's spotted a teammate, and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Laurent Koscielny. Arsenal with a sharp edge to this attack. Ramsey trying to rise to the challenge here with a good sprint forward. That's very good defending. And the player had nowhere to go. Clava. Patrick. Attacking now. Roberto Firmino. There's something happening at Chelsea that we need to know about. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Eden Hazard. The ball was heading straight to the keeper's gloves when the defender got his shoulder in the way, steering it into his own net. Eight minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. He's got his shot off now. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Some options now for the pass. Firmino! Klava. Fekir. And he gives it back to him. Attacking well here. Henderson. Fekir. Liverpool get the advantage. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Now Mkhitaryan. Patrick. And the cross goes towards the far post. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but... Oh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. At St Mary Stadium, Alan McAnally's there today, and he's got some news for us. It's a goal for Newcastle United. It's been scored by John Joe Shelby. A clinical... Gonna try one now. Up for grabs here. And here's the shot. Well, here it is. 
the first goal of a game that they have absolutely dominated. Very good play. Defence opened up again, but the difference is this time that they put the ball past the goalkeeper. Good finish. And they're looking a very classy side at the moment. Looking good with attacking play like this and this goal. Well, that's all about anticipation and just snapping up the rebound. So it's Arsenal with the lead. Fekir. Van Dijk. Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a goal for Fulham. 22 minutes played. 1-1. Cheers, Alan. Free kick awarded against Liverpool. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. Cleared away by the defender. Apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally just a moment or two ago. It was a goal for Fulham, but the home team did score in that game. It's now 1-1. Well, we've got an injured player now, and the referee has called a halt. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number 13, Nabil Fakir, to be replaced by number 5, Jorginho Vidal. Well, the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Laurent Koscielny. Granani Chaka. His Bayerin. Goal news involving Preston. It's a goal for Watford. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Well, they're in a good position here. Ramsey. Jack Wilshire. Chan. And Arsenal have possession. They've won it. It goes out wide again. And here's a chance. Trotto! The shot gets blocked. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky. It was deflected. Corner played in. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. It's a corner coming up yet again. In goes the corner. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Ramsey. No nonsense defending from him. Kanani Chaka. Good challenge. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. News of a penalty from Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for the home team. He's put the ball down on the spot. Money! It's a good leap. 
But the header too high. Yeah, unlucky. Give him another chance. I think he'll tuck that away. The manager turns away in disgust. He expects his man to tuck that one away and get his team on level terms. Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about from Aston Villa's game. It's a goal for Aston Villa. It's been scored by Robert Snodgrass. A cross came in, was headed out, and he met it just outside the area. Firmino is in. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, that news from Alan McAnally we had to cut short. But just to remind you, Aston Villa have scored in that game. The score is now 1-0. Jack Wilshire, possession in the midfield area. Wijnaldum. Well, I like the look of this attack. In quickly. Henderson. Three minutes to be added on. There will be a minimum of And shoots! Oh, that's typical of football, isn't it? How have they done that? There was no way it seemed that they were going to equalise. They found a route to goal. The goalkeeper who's been beaten is mad with his defenders. They just allowed the scorer in and he did his job. Well, the equaliser has happened. Took perhaps the opposition by surprise. But we're level again. It's what they've deserved. Oh, the manager's given some of his players a piece of his mind because it's been sloppy, and now the opposition have equalised. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Nacho Monreal. Now Mkhitaryan. Well, this attack... Got a bit of menace to it. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. It's a good goal for them. And they have been playing well. No one can really complain about them taking the lead here. They have been much the better side. And it's a fine piece of finishing. How about that goal for sheer class? Well, it's come in from a long way out. And from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, that's what you get for gambling, for anticipating. What a finish. Well, Liverpool in the losing position. Arsenal goal. Number two. Wijnaldum. Jack Wilson. Well, the referee is blown for half-time here with 2-1 the score. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. A good side in the lead. Cross goes towards the far post. It's been scored by... Jo Going to try one now. Up to grabs here. And here's the shot. Corner played in. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. Three minutes to be added on. And shoots! Trying to pick out someone in the centre.
here we go for the second half of this Emirates FA Cup tie. Yeah, the first half wasn't bad. Hoping for more of the same here. Goal news from Middlesbrough. It's a goal for MK Dons. 47 minutes played. 1-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Hector Berry. Shokdran Mustafi. I would guess in this possession play here, they're trying to get the opposition to come out and harry them and maybe bend past their way through them. He's coming forward with some danger. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player and his track and his old teammates. Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so he just want to concentrate on doing himself justice. Corner played into the middle. Tries to punch it away. The shot's on. Oh, charge down. I must still get a corner. Corner played in. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Now this looks promising. Patrick. Now El Nenny. Ozil! Well, he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've Push their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Well, it's a goal, and I don't think it'll be the last one they score today, the way they're playing. No, and the opposition is all over the place. Just no semblance of organisation from them. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scorer. Penalty at Brighton. It's a penalty for Brighton and Hove Albion. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. Oh, brilliant, straight down the right-hand side of the goalkeeper. He hardly moved. 57 minutes played, 3-0. Cheers, Alan. Here's Bayerin. El Nenny. Patrick. Wijnaldum. Henderson. Goal news from Millwall. It's a third goal for Millwall. 63 minutes played, 3 0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. In quickly, Obama Yang. Henderson. It's Mane. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Wijnaldum! It's a great piece of tactical awareness by the manager and by the player himself, who's put the instructions into practice. Well, it shows the affinity with this manager that the players head to him having scored a goal. Really good team spirit. Well, I'm not sure he hit that exactly as he would have wanted, but he doesn't care. It's ended up in the net. Well, there's a goal that's perhaps not gone according to the script here. 
They just pick their moment to get forward after a lot of defending. Yeah, and they can thank the defenders for that. But uh, when they did get the ball, they moved it forward really quickly. They were they were ruthless there. Well, plenty of goals here today. Three-two. Number five, Obama Young. Goal news from Bradford. It's the second goal from Bradford City. 69 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. He followed his instincts. He followed the play in. And then he followed, watching the ball into the net. Yeah, a lesson for any schoolboy, just to make sure you follow shots in, that you're in that danger area. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Coming onto the pitch. Plenty of goals for the fans here. 4 2. Off we go again. Well, it's still just speculation, Alan, isn't it? But what a big money deal it would be if it went through. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. Let's wait and see if there's any substance to them. A real shine to Liverpool's play in these kinds of attacks. Some options now for the pass. Here's Milner. Liverpool get the advantage. And here's the shot. Good block. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Having played the advantage, he's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for. And the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether he thought he got away with that because the play was allowed to go on, but no, he sees yellow. He's put in the corner. Good defensive clearance there. Hector Berry. James Milner, good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. There's an update from uh, Alan McAnally at the Britannia Stadium. It's another goal for Stoke City, 79 minutes played, 4-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. We are in the last chance saloon for Liverpool. Well, I think we're going to see some some Route 1 stuff here, Martin, in the next few minutes. Might not be pretty, but I'll be hoping it'll be effective. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Well, that's good. The shot's on! Oh, charge down. Patrick. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Can really get at the opposition here. Let in the shot go! And that's a corner for Arsenal. And in it goes. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Now, here is going to try one now. What a fine save. And it's back for a corner again. Swung in from the corner. 
disappointed that that didn't lead to more. I know this manager is not too keen on this kind of play. Uh, he'd rather the ball was in the other half and they were playing their football in the opposing half. Shokran Mustafi. Here's Berin. He's out on the flanks now. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. That's the indication. Four added minutes. There will be a minimum of four minutes. Aaron Ramsey. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Played away, well away from goal. It's behind for another corner. Here comes the corner. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. And that will be a throw as the header goes out of play. Aubameyang. Now El Nenny. Rand cut off. Oh, he's way off target. It's over, and the referee blows the whistle for the last time. A confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice, some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams. Gonna try one now. Up for grabs here. And here's the shot. Three minutes to be added on. And shoots! <laughs> Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Ozil! Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Wijnaldum! Two nil. Thank you very much, Alan. Saw the goal and went for it.